So, hello, welcome everybody. For those of you that know me, my name is Jared. I am the bride's brother. And I know at a lesbian wedding that's sort of hard to differentiate. <laughs> so I'm just going to refer to each of them as the families call them. Little tits and big jugs. <laughs> We're all clear, right? Um, by the way, if I say anything tonight that offends you, just uh, do me a favor, lightly tap your glass. Just real soft. Can somebody demonstrate what a light tap? There we go. So if I offend you, just a light tap. Um, or if I, I say something like really funny and true, just a light tap on the glass. I appreciate it. Um, quick round of applause for the venue. Like, you. So I actually live and work in New York City. Um, it's crazy to think that these places still exist. You know, red states. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. Uh, I actually had to fact check my own speech. Virginia is a blue state, which is crazy because it has that like, meet me by the hanging tree vibe. <laughs> I told you, no kids. But seriously guys, this is a white ass wedding. Like, <laughs> it's like somebody took like paper mate for the entire, I, I think I brought the only person of color, and he's been arrested twice since appetizers. <laughs> but no, 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 guys. Uh, I heard there were going to be a lot of police officers here. Kind of nervous. Um, <laughs> Mainly because my two favorite things are uh, reaching for things unexpectedly and not following instructions. But then I was like, Jared, you're gonna be totally fine. You're white. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Back to a little tits and big jokes. Um, so I don't know if you guys know this. They actually met at a wedding a long, long time ago, and then. Her lesbian policy, they began planning theirs the next day. <laughs> and they did all the typical like lesbian things, you know, they bought cats. <laughs> they bought cats. Then they uh, bought butch cars. <laughs> And then they obsessed about their cats and their butch cars. <laughs> they also um, kept their fingernails at fingering friendly lengths. <laughs> then, I, I looked yesterday, like, they both have beautifully manicured nails, and that is called love people. <laughs> when you're willing to risk a slit on your clit, <laughs> love. L O L O V E. <laughs> Speaking of a slit clit, um, I don't have a segue for that one, I just wanted to see what it sounded like out loud. Um, however, the clitoris is very sensitive, um, from what I've heard. Uh, but the clitoris is sensitive, and now we're going to go into the sensitive part of my speech. Segue. Amber, growing up in your shadow was really tough. You did everything perfectly the first time. You were incredibly talented with music, sports, school, everything came innately easy for you. And it was really tough growing up behind you, but I always had somebody to look up to, to admire. Um, and 
not that long ago you were dating Lord Voldemort, <laughs> and we didn't think you were going to be able to find anybody to match the amazing that you are, and then Sarah came along. Sarah is as equally loving, intelligent, kind, um, and we are incredibly happy to call you a part of our family now. I wish both of you, all the cats, <laughs> and Home Depot gift cards. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Everybody, pull up your drink. To the new couple, cheers. Cheers! And FYI guys, friendly, friendly reminder, uh, coronavirus is real. Do your best to keep six feet apart. Wear your masks. Um, and for Sarah's hot brothers, I'll be doing COVID tests down my throat later on. <laughs>